Yo, 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 what's good? This is the Thank You True Talent Podcast. This is episode 17. This is August 17, 2017. Almost a whole fucking month before I did a new one. God, dog, I can't believe it. The last one was 7 18, 2017. I barely had any time to talk, so I try to ramble it all down. But first thing first, I like to say, wow. God damn, wow. All the shit that's coming out around here. DB, what, Dragon Ball Fighter Z is adding new characters. We're getting Super Saiyan, let me say it correct, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And we're getting Android 16 and 18 and the story fucking mode. This is straight from the Gamitsu website. Super Saiyan Blue Goku can use 10 times go Kame Kame Ha. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta can use Final Flash Attack. Android 16 can use his Hell Flash at his maximum output. And Android 18 can use Excel Dance, which is a combined attack that summons Android 17. It is unknown if this is the only capacity in which the Android 17 will appear. So... That's pretty cool. I'm geeked about that shit. That's fucking awesome. I also got to say that uh, what I just read, uh, what the fuck, uh, was was dope about this shit is that they are uh, adding three v three online where each person can control different characters. Anybody who remember back in the days on the main with the uh, Carilla, when you play Marvel vs. Capcom one and you had two v two or uh, King of Fighters. 2002, no, 2001 when you had 66, 88. Oh my gosh, those was the good old days. Back when I used to think the higher the number on the ping, the better the game would play. Wrong. Simply wrong. Your ass is wrong, Chauncey. You're wrong as fuck. But yeah, this shit's about to be high. Uh, a closed beta will be uh, coming through on September 16 and 18. Registration will be in a few days on August 22nd. This is August 17. So, you know, like they say, you know, shit is all fucked up. I'm mad. I hope I can get in the beta. And uh, I'll be geeked, you know, because I really want to play. I kind of pissed. I'm kind of mad that you got Super Saiyan uh, Blue. So, you know, you got God, uh, you got God characters in the character, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue, and Goku. I hope they play completely opposites of the character of the regular characters, because I I see Goku does a lot of kicks on his regular form. If if he does punches on his blue form, I think it'll be awesome. I also hope that those characters be like boss type characters, because that'll make that shit even better so much better but uh you know things happen and things can't stop happening oh yeah Woo! something nasty that just came down oh my goodness i just read this shit crackdown 3 is delayed to 2018 like we didn't see that shit coming for me i like crackdown i like crackdown 1 I own Crackdown 2, didn't want to get down on Crackdown 2 because of the fact that when I first seen Crackdown 2, I was like, yo, what the fuck is this monster shit? Why the fuck my character doesn't have a, has a mask on? Why the fuck my character doesn't have his face showing? That's what made me love Crackdown 1. Uh, when I first seen Crackdown 1, I didn't want to play that shit. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought Crackdown 1 looked like a piece of shit. And all the magazines was talking about, yo, this game is dope. All that good shit. And I was like, man, this shit. Wiggity, wiggity, whack. Fuck out of here. So when I went to my homeboy, Drew. His name is Drew. Born, his his, his birth name is Drew. D-R-E-W. A.K.A. Code Ruku. That's my homie. Shouts out to Code Ruku out there. Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Hope everything's going good with you and, and shit. But uh, I think I just got off of work. No, yeah, yeah. I think we just got off of work. We used to work in a uh, game store called uh, Game Exchange. And I came home and all that shit. I went to his house to uh, do something. And uh, knocked in the door, checked it out, and I seen a big screen. And it says, it was Crackdown. I'm watching it. And I'm like, oh, it's Crackdown. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's pretty dope. They're like, oh, whatever. And then on the bottom of the screen, it tells them the percentage of him beating the boss. And I was like, yo, that's mine. Fuck. And then the announcer was like, 
It was like, Agent, you have no chance of doing this. I advise you to move away. I said, wait a minute. Did he just tell me, tell you not to fight this battle? Because you got a less than 20% chance? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, dog, I'm not going to lie. I went to work. We went to work the next day. And I bought the game just because of the interface. That stuff had me cracking up. That was like one of the awesomest things I ever seen in a video game. Where the announcer of the game told you that you are not going to pass this level because you wasn't strong enough. And and you need to pack that shit up. So I was geek. So I skipped Crackdown 2 even though I own it. I need to, I should try it and see if everything's good and all that. But uh, this, uh, this article off, uh, what is it, Polygon? Crackdown 3, this is insert. Crackdown 3 was originally announced at E3 2014 and is at one point target for release in the second half of 2016. It's clearly a complex project, one that has evolved since its unveiling, and Crackdown fans have learned to patiently wait for it to come out. It also goes on to Crackdown 3 was previously scheduled to launch the same down that Microsoft new console Xbox X hit stores uh, as Leftists about the gap that Crackdown 3 delayed now leaves an Xbox X launch lineup, and she emphasized the long list of platform exclusive entitles that will be enhanced by the more powerful Xbox One hardware arriving later this year. The Xbox One X launch lineup will be one of the greatest lineups of games ever available with a major new console release, Lotus said. Not only are there several new Xbox exclusives such as Forza, Motorspike 7, Cuphead, Super Lucky Tail, and a console launch exclusive Players Unknown Battleground, there is an, uh, there is an incredible list of titles coming in this holiday inclusion. Metal Earth, Shadow of War, Assassin's Creed Origins, Call of Duty, and some other shit. So let's get to it. With so many great exclusive new games to play, Crackdown 3 will be, have shipped into an incredible crowded market. Alright, so let's talk about that. Crackdown 3 being shipped in an incredible congested market. I totally agree with that. I agree with that game being congested market. That is a fucking thick ass cloud of smoke. That you will be that game probably get lost because Crackdown 2 to me looked like it was straight shit. Crackdown 1 was the shit. 2 looked like shit. 1 looked like it was. 1 was the shit. So 3 going back to his roots might have a little struggling because it lost some people off of 2. But needless, needless to say, if you're going to announce something, try to deliver. Make sure you deliver on time. If you don't deliver on time, somebody's going to pick up the football and run with it and drop the explosive. Period. Point blank. Is there? Is it a budget problem? Probably not. Did the game look... Did the graphics look good? Not really to me. Did the game look fun as fuck? Fuck yeah. But I only seen things getting destroyed and nobody getting punched across the fucking map like on the first crackdown. I just want the game to drop so I can fucking play something on my Xbox. My Xbox does got some games on it, but I barely use my Xbox One. It's usually my PlayStation 4. But hey, things happen. Also, big shots out to my nigga Antoine Ortiz, a.k.a. Alucard, F3 Alucard, for his Abigail bust down on NLBC, you know. Next level battle circuit. He took third with Abigail. Most people are like, yo, for those that don't know Antoine, like I know Antoine, if Antoine, if Antoine really likes the character, no, no, let's take this back. Antoine is one of the greatest players that I've ever seen play the fucking video game. If he can relate to the character of the game and... And if he can relate to the character of the game, he will have his fun. If he doesn't have fun, he, he don't want to play. He's not that good. He, No disrespect to Antoine, but Antoine be like, fuck it, I don't want to play. That's just him. He doesn't like playing. If the game isn't, if he ain't having fun. And he doesn't care how hard he tries. He just, if he's not having fun, he's not. But if when he's having fun, oh my gosh, you're going to see some of the craziest shit you've ever seen in your entire life. So, shouts out to Antoine Ortiz. Um, so, let's wrap this shit up, because my black ass got to get to work, and I'm doing this podcast before I go to work. <gasps> yeah, digs. So, first thing first, 
Dragon Ball Fighter Z adding new characters. That shit dope. Crackdown 3 has been delayed. And shouts out to that nigga Antoine Ortiz. A.K.A. F3 Alucard. That's it. And make sure you can check my black ass out for the online arcade Tekken 7 tournament this weekend. I never played Tekken 7. And I'm playing Jack 7 all the way through. Pray to God that he plays like Jack 6. If he does, 4-4-1 four, four, all fucking day on the asses. So, holla at your boy. It's your boy Chauncey True Talent. Play number one, I play number two. This is a Thank You True Talent podcast. This is episode 17. This is today's date is August 17, 2017. And you know what it is? I put your head on my arms so you can use this bicep as a pillow. And I'm going to put you in the cobra. Psh, cobra. Ah, that's stroke life, baby.